Yo everyone, Shock16 back once again for the Renegade Master, back once again for another video on memories. Um, some might call it a memories video. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this time I am going to be talking about cereal toys. Breakfast cereal toys. So yeah, you know, the little free gifts and stuff that you used to get in the boxes of your cereal. Um, so yeah, this was... Um, Influenced by fellow YouTuber Dave Lawn Boys Post 1975 yet again, so this is somewhat of a response to his video again. Um, so yeah, I will leave a link in the description to that original video, so you can go across and watch that. So yeah, um, the reason why I thought I'd do my own memories is because, like I say, that kind of sparked my memories of um, toys that I used to get free with the cereal and stuff like that and plus I'm a bit younger than Dave, quite a bit younger than Dave as well just putting that out there I am brew, I am brew, made from girders monkey spaz would be proud of but yeah so I'm quite a bit younger so some of my memories are quite different to Dave's although I do remember quite a a few of the things that he was talking about actually, so stuff like, you know, like the Wheaty Bix gang where they were like based on like kind of 80s skinheads and stuff like that, I remember them and I also remember like the cereal bowls that it was on about, the ones that used to come with the Kellogg's mascots on them and stuff like that and how they used to be made out of proper pottery as well back in the day and then they later changed them to like plastic things because like when we sent off for them because the way you used to get things like that as well, you used to like collect two tokens and then you used to send them off with some money, like a cheque or something like that. And then they would send you something back. So yeah, you needed probably like two or three tokens and then you had to pay a little bit of money as well to get these things. But like I said, in later years, we got the, like, the plastic ones. But the way I remember the pottery ones is because we actually did have some of the pottery ones. Um, so yeah, I think we had a cornflake one and maybe like, um, was it like an old bran or fruit bran or something like that? I don't know, I can't remember. Um, stuff like that. But yeah, I don't know where those bowls came from because like I said, it was a bit before my time and even my sister, she's about four years older than me, three and a half, four years older than me. So maybe, maybe she sent off for him, I don't know. But yeah, anyway. I do remember some things, but yeah, like I say, I'm younger, so a lot of mine are from like the late 80s and then through the 90s and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll start off with just some of the generic things. The more generic things that you used to always kind of get in breakfast cereals when they didn't have like a certain kind of promotion on or something like that. Um, but these things are so nostalgic and you always used to get them. Um, yeah, in, in your cereal. Oh yeah, before we go on as well, the last thing that I ever got free in cereal, because like, they don't really do um, stuff inside cereal boxes anymore. Yeah, I don't know why they've done away with it. I imagine, um, I don't know <laughs> why they've done away with it. Maybe because it's something to do with like, like Dave said in his video, something about enticing kids to eat cereal and stuff like that, or Maybe it's something to do with health and safety and stuff like that. Maybe kids, you know what I mean, kids eat Tide Pods these days, you know what I mean? So I won't put it past them that they're eating toys and cereal boxes and choking and shit these days. So yeah, probably health and safety and stuff like that. But yeah, the last thing I actually did get and it actually got me really excited <laughs> for no reason. But just other than the fact that I hadn't had anything in a cereal box for years. And that was last year when they was giving away these stickers, these panini football stickers for the World Cup. So yeah. We've got Manuel Noir there for Germany. Can you even see these? Don't think it'll focus on them. Will it? We've got Andre Gomez for Portugal and then we've got Marco Verratti who I think he's Italian. He's not in his Italian kit there though. He's in, he's in his PSG. Kit. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, football stickers, they were the last things that I actually got in the cereal box. So 
so yeah, anyway, the things that, <laughs> but yeah, the things that we, you always used to get in cereal boxes, like I say, if they didn't have a certain promotion on, well, like, they used to just give you like generic stuff. And the ones that you used to, you always used to get. So, first off, bite reflectors. Kellogg's especially always used to do bite reflectors. And there was normally in the shape of, you know, on the cornflake box, the rooster, the cockerel, or whatever you want to call it, the rooster. <laughs> there was n normally in the shape of that. They're like the most iconic ones, the bite reflectors that are in the shape of that. But um, yeah, later on they did do um, ones in the shape of the mascots as well. So you like, you could get like your, your Coco the monkey off the Coco Pops and Tony the tiger and then you know, snap, crackle and pop shapes and stuff like that. But yeah, bite reflectors, they used to put them on every so many, like I said, there was kind of like fillers when they didn't have a proper promotion on. And um, other ones, Spokey Dokies, remember them? There was like little plastic beady things. Just, yeah, just different colours and you used to put them on your spokes and when your wheels went around, they like slide it up and down and made like a tingling, tingy noise on you. Bike spokes and stuff like that, spokey dokies. Um, and the other thing that you always used to get as well, was like little fillers, was those little rubber poppers. You remember that? You like, it was just like a little piece of rubber, and you basically turned them inside out, yeah, inside out, and then you'd put them down, and then you'd wait for them to pop back up. So, yeah, you don't get them, you don't even get things like that no more. But then again, health and safety, innit? Probably took a kid's eye out or something they did. So yeah, they was kind of like generic things. Oh, and a lot of other generic things that they used to do. But they used to do these with tie-ins as well because one of the ones that I remember the most is um, when they did the Rugrats ones. And they was like pencil toppers. So yeah, you normally had like pens or pencil topper like things. Um, yeah, they serve no purpose other than to just sit on your pencil. So you had like ones with, can you remember those um, like damn trolls with the with the hair, <laughs> with the fuzzy hair. So they did like them trolls and they did, like I said, Rugrats ones. But yeah, they, they also did like mascots of them as well, like serial mascot ones of those as well. So yeah, they was kind of like your generic kind of line. But yeah, as I've just shown you um, football stickers, we might as well talk about some of the football promotions that I remember getting in the cereal boxes as a kid. So yeah. The first ones would be the um, 1994 World Cup. By the way, I've got my bullet points over there, here again, so I don't forget anything. Um, so yeah, <laughs> the 1994 World Cup, when they did the, um, there weren't football stickers, there was football, I think there was like trading cards. They weren't like um, top trumps or anything like that, they were just collectible cards. Um, and then they did the Euro 96, um, Virtual video, can you remember then? But when I say virtual video, there was like, um, they're just like pictures in a frame. Uh, what do you call them? Is it lenticular or something like that? You know, where you like, you hold it at an angle and the picture changes shape so it looks like the picture's moving. Yeah, that's what they classed as a virtual video. But it was just like one of them lenticular picture things where you went like that <laughs> and it moved. Um, yeah, and then, oh, in the Sugar Puffs, in the Sugar Puffs, which have now been renamed, what are they called now? Is it just like Honey Monster Cereal now or something? Because, you know, heaven forbid should kids have sugar these days, and if they do, they're going to get a bloody tax for it. Sugar tax. Oh, just another way to make money. Do you know I mean? They don't care about your health. They do not care about your health. They just want more money. Sugar fucking tax. Tax you for anything. So yeah, anyway, Sugar Puffs. They had the um, football shirt pencil toppers. Back to pencil toppers again, see? they very popular pencil toppers. Don't know why. Was there like um, a craze for pencil toppers? Did anybody actually use them? Did anybody actually put them on pencils? Because I know I didn't. I weren't that geeky. I mean, I weren't that much of a nerd. Nerd. But yeah, pencil toppers. So yeah, then, then we... Um... Oh yeah! Speaking of pencil toppers, again, another one of the um, pencil toppers that I remember is, you know, The Mask, um, the Jim Carrey film, The Mask, um, 
they did like a cartoon series of it, didn't they? And they did a promotion on that as well, and they was like pencil toppers. Again, these pencil toppers was everywhere in the 90s, man. You kids these days, if you grew up after the millennium and stuff like that, you don't know. You don't know the joys that pencil toppers brought children. <laughs> Um, so yeah, then we move on to um, stuff like um, the movie promotions and stuff like that. So this is when you've got, normally got better stuff or something like that. Or they would like proper promote it on the cereal boxes and stuff like that. It, it wasn't just filler stuff that you'd see all the time. It was like once in a lifetime thing. So you like these things now are probably like, you could probably flog them on eBay for a pretty penny because the... Do you know what I mean like limited edition stuff like that are tied into stuff? So yeah, one of the, the film promotions that I remember is when Space Jam came out and they did like the little plastic kind of coin trophy things. And I think one of them was like I think there was gold and then I think there was like a silver one that was like super rare or something like that. And oh another one can't remember what serial this was on though, and it was like um, it was for Batman Returns when Batman Returns came out. Um, I can't. What I can't remember is it. If I can't remember it, if it is, it was like one of the normal serials that promoted Batman Returns, or it was actual Batman serial, like it was an actual serial brought out just for. Like Batman, <laughs> like a Batman breakfast or something like that. But yeah, and they gave away like um, promotional stickers and stuff like that to do with Batman Returns. Um, sticking with the sticker theme here, um, Casper glow in the dark stickers. You remember that when the Casper the Friendly Ghost film came out. Um, yeah, they did like these stickers and some of them was glow in the dark and they was really good as well from what I remember. They, they lasted for years, like the glow on them lasted for years and you didn't have to hold them up to the light or anything. They just, like if you had like daylight or something coming through your window then obviously at night when you turn the lights off, the glow in the dark, they was actually really good. Because I can remember like a lot of the glow in the dark stuff that you used to get during the 90s, you had to hold it up to like the light or something for a, an extended period. And then when you turn the light off, the glow in the dark. But these was like really good. And in the same vein as that as well was the Ghostbusters ones. Now these um, are ones that I remember, I, but I can't remember if my mind's playing tricks on me, if it's just like filling in gaps for me. Because I remember having some glow in the dark. Ghostbusters stickers, but the thing is, Ghostbusters, like, came out in what, like, 1984, so I'd have been, been like two years old. So again, unless my sister stuck them on, like this chest of drawers, I remember having them on this chest of drawers, these glow in the dark Ghostbuster stickers. So unless my sister got them out of the cereal box or something and stuck them on, because I remember that that chest of drawers was like a hand me down, but as I remember, that chest of drawers came out of my sister's bedroom when she had a new wardrobe and then I got that like they came into my room like the chest of drawers got moved into my room so unless it was already stuck on there or unless the other option is it was actually promoting Ghostbusters 2 because that would have been more my era Ghostbusters 2 because that was late eight years so I would have remembered them ones although I would have been very young so I wouldn't have remembered sticking them on there but obviously I would have remembered them being on there because if they'd stayed on there for like years then obviously I would have remembered them still being on there like when I was about 9 or 10 or something like that so that's the other option or maybe they wasn't even out of a cereal box and but there was just some random glow in the dark Ghostbusters stickers that I acquired as a kid but because I've heard people talking about them um, coming out of cereal boxes in there like mentioning them in on YouTube and stuff that they they got them in cereal boxes maybe my mind's just filling in the blanks that I got them out of cereal as well but there you go I had some Ghostbusters ones as well <laughs> but whether they was out of cereal or not I don't remember but I seem to think they are um oh Ninja Turtle stickers as well but again, I can't remember if these was actually um, 
just a promotion on one of the normal like like Kellogg's or Nestle boxes or something like that or whether it was an actual cereal bought up but it wasn't for the first film, it wasn't for the 1990 film, it was for Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze when that came out so yeah again I can't remember if it was like an actual cereal, like a Turtles cereal or if it was a promotion, I seem to think it was just a promotion because um, I don't know, I can't I, I can't imagine me asking for like, t well I can imagine me asking for a turtle cereal at that age but I can't imagine my parents would have bought me turtle cereal because they would have thought it was just like something that I'm not going to eat, basically I just want it for the stickers whereas if they bought me cereal that I normally eat and it had the stickers in then that's alright, do you know what I mean, but, uh, do you know what I mean? <laughs> They wouldn't have bought me a cereal that I potentially wouldn't have ate just so I could have got some stickers, if you know what I mean. So that's what makes me think it was already a, a cereal I ate, but it was just promotion on the box. Um. So yeah, and, and then, then the things that I remember, oh, the, now these are the best things in my opinion that you used to get. And these are the things that I really used to love that you used to get in the cereal. And this is when you used to get proper toys. So, like, the things that I remember was uh, Monsters in My Pocket. Remember then? They was amazing. I think I had a full set of them. Because these monsters in my pocket are so much trouble when they're together, I have to put each one of them in their own box. You'll find 16 to collect free in special packs of Kellogg's Frosties. They're great! And then they did the wrestlers in your pocket as well and can you remember the so you had the wrestlers and then you had coach Tony so um, Tony the Tiger off the Frosties Frosted Flakes if you're in America but they did a coach Tony um, figure Monsters in My Pocket and he was dead rare so like all the other ones you'd get like loads and loads of like duplicates of but if you had a coach Tony that was rare because I don't think you actually got that in the box. I think you might have had to send off for Coach Tony actually. I think that was the only one. I think you might have had to collect tokens and actually send off for him. Or it was one of those where they only put it in like so many but like limited edition packs only had him in it, like do you know what I mean? Monster wrestlers in my pocket are coming your way. They're mean. They're scared of no one. Except me. I'm their coach. Monster wrestlers in my pocket. You can collect us all free, but only in special packs of Kellogg's Frosties. They're great! Um, but yeah, monsters in my pocket and wrestlers in my pocket. Some of the best toys ever. But my favourite of the lot has got to be when they did mini Boglins. Because, I mean, Boglins was amazing. Like, you know, the big Boglins that you used to get in the 80s and the 90s and stuff like that. But yeah, they used to do mini boglins. So I used to collect mini boglins anyway, because I used to buy them when um, I don't know if you can remember. Like at the sh my lo local, ah, can't speak again. My local news agents used to do uh, mini boglins in like these plastic eggs. There was like in little eggs, and then you cracked them open, and you got like a mini boglin inside. So yeah, I used to buy them. I used to collect them anyway. But then, obviously. Kellogg's started doing a promotion and putting them inside like the Frosties and stuff like that so yeah I collected all those as well and the best thing about them as well the mini boglins that you got out of the cereal boxes was actually different to the ones that you got in the eggs as well so I think they was actually smaller as well but yeah so the mini boglins they was like the best ones ever oh yeah another one another memorable thing that I remember as well was um, Going back to like sending tokens off and stuff like that was um, something that my sister got and that was like when the Lucky Charms came out. So yeah, Lucky Charms is something that used to get sold here in the UK but it was made by, um, I think they're made by General Mills now or they always have been made by General Mills in the US. But when they came out over here there was um, underneath the Nestle brand and but they didn't really take off, they only lasted for a few years and then they got took off shelves and now you can buy them again in the UK but you have to buy them from the import section so it will cost you about like £5 for a box of Lucky Charms nowadays or something like that 
ridiculous and like I say it says General Mills on it so you know that they're import rather than produced here in the UK so yeah it's like I said they just didn't really take off but um, yeah my sister sent off for a mug on one of them it was a colour changing mug and it was like um, it had like a daytime scenario on it and then a, na a nighttime scenario on it and it changed with the heat of the so like when you put hot tea in it it went from nighttime to daytime and like it had a rainbow on it and stuff like that if i can get a picture of the cup then i'll show you but yeah i always remember that and that's because we had that cup for years and years and years and i'm still thinking that we might have it in the back of a cupboard somewhere or in a loft in a box somewhere but i do remember that it eventually it got that much use and we had it for that many years that it eventually stopped changing so like when it used to change from the nighttime setting to the daytime setting with the heat i think it just kind of got stuck on the daytime setting but you could kind of vaguely see the nighttime um picture on it at the same time if you know what i mean i think it kind of stopped working but that's just due to age and wear, like I said, that cup got some hammer, but I always remembered that that was actually my sister's cup. And, and yeah, that's kind of it really for breakfast cereal stuff that I remember. And then um, I can remember in like the um, late 2000s when they started putting like, you know, like um, CD-ROM games and stuff like that. Oh, actually, going back to the 90s, actually, yeah, this is... Before they started putting like the PC CD kind of ROM games in, in the early 2000s and stuff like that, which was kind of like when the stuffing cereal boxes kind of died out, that was like the last kind of things they started putting in, that early 2000s era, so, do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, in the 90s they used to put music, can you remember like they used to put really shitty music compilations in, probably like a smash hits kind of CD or something like that and I always remember one that my mate had and oh it's hilarious and it used to have this song on it I mean it used to have things I think it had like an aqua song on you know those who did Barbie Girl it had an aqua song on but I can't remember what song it was I think it might have been like a b-side of something like I say there was normally like a shitty compilation um, it had steps on it but again I don't think it was like one of the hits I think it was like one of like the lesser known hits but the one song that I always stood out and it was because it was hilariously shit so bad and it was a song by um, Aaron Carter and it was called oh, what's it called crazy party crazy crazy little party or something like that crazy little party or something like that it's called by Aaron Carter I'll put a description if I can find it on YouTube I'll find this yeah I'll find a link or something for it on YouTube it's bound to be on YouTube and I'll post a link in the description for you and you check out that song honestly it's one of the most hilariously bad even for the 90s it is a bad song but I always remember that CD because it we was just flicking through the tracks on it and that came on and we used to put it on for a laugh like if we was at a party or something like that if we was having a house party or something like that in the 90s my mate used to chuck it on as a laugh, do you know what I mean? Just used to chuck it on and people just used to be like, what the fuck is this shit, do you know what I mean? But it was hilarious, do you know what I mean? It was hilarious at the time, you had to be there. But anyway, yeah, honestly, the song's absolutely the shit. But anyway, that's my memories of um, cereal box toys, cereal toys, breakfast cereal toys. There we go, that's what we're going with. And so yeah, like I say, check out Dave's original video in the link below, check out the link to that shitty song if I can find it and yeah I'll see you in the next memories video see you then bye bye